Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have a $20 SSD that I got from Amazon. This, at the time of filming, is the cheapest SSD you can find on Amazon. Before we have a look at it, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. This is from a brand called King Dian and I got the 120 gig version for 21 Canadian dollars. Let's have a look at its specs, just for laughs. I say this because similar to other Chinese SSDs, you get different specs as you look at different websites. Take this for example. On top of the Amazon page, the read and write speeds are advertised as 530 and 240 megabytes. However, a little bit down the page, it's 488 and 434 megabytes. And in one of the product pictures is 528 and 350. But hold on, it gets even funnier. If you go to King's Dian's website, it's 560 and 380 megabytes. Anyways, we'll measure this ourselves. Quick note, it doesn't come with a SATA cable. It uses an SM2258G controller, which is used by many SSDs like the Team Delta R. It's actually advertised as SM2258G+. More on this later. This is a TLC drive. SSDs are faster than hard drives. This is mostly true. I'm saying mostly because there is one exception. DRAM-less drives. A DRAM is an SSD is significantly faster than the rest of the drive, and it contains a map of where the data is on the SSD. Having a DRAM significantly improves the performance, especially in random reads and writes. DRAM-less SSDs usually keep this map somewhere on the drive. If you search for SM2258 controller, you'll see that it has a DRAM cache. However, what you might not realize at first is that SM2258 and SM2258G are actually two different controllers. SM2258G is actually the OEM name for SM2258 XT, which is a DRAM-less controller. This is deceptive, as you won't actually get much information about the G model, and sellers on Amazon insist that it has a DRAM cache. Anyways, we have a DRAM-less SSD here. We will compare its performance with a traditional spinning hard drive and an Intel 660p SSD that I use daily. Let's start with check this mark. You can see the results on the screen. As you can see, we actually got better results than any advertised value. I mean, that's not bad. Now, let's compare it with the 660p SSD and a 7200 RPM traditional hard drive. Only looking at these numbers, we can say that this SSD is faster than a traditional hard drive and slower than an Intel 660p SSD. By the way, I'm comparing this with the 660p SSD to show the differences between SSDs. Notice the difference between 660p and this SSD in random reads and writes. Regardless of this, the SSDs are faster than a regular hard drive. What we're gonna do now is to create three virtual machines running Windows 10, one on each drive. The speeds we'll get here will be lower than the values we would get if we were to install Windows directly on the drives. However, I would have to install the same drivers on each version and I have a lot of programs installed on my 660p SSD. Using a virtual machine will ensure that all the variables are kept constant. Each virtual machine is allocated 4 cores and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Installing Windows on the King Dian SSD took 7 minutes and 29 seconds. The same process took 8 minutes and 49 seconds on the 660p SSD and a whopping 24 minutes and 13 seconds for the traditional hard drive. For some reason, the 660p SSD was actually slower than the King Dian SSD when installing Windows. However, both SSDs were significantly faster than the regular hard drive. For the King Dian SSD, a cold boot takes 29 seconds. It takes 31 seconds for the Intel 660p and a minute and 57 seconds for the hard drive. We are now installing Microsoft Office from a standalone installer so we won't need to re-download the files over and over. The King Dian SSD took 2 minutes and 2 seconds, the Intel 660p SSD took 1 minute and 47 seconds, and the spinning hard drive took 8 minutes and 26 seconds. Opening Word for the first time? only takes 4 seconds on the King Dian SSD, 3.2 seconds on the 660p, and 15 seconds on the hard drive. It's a similar story for other apps. King Dian and the 660p SSD are comparable in performance while the hard drive struggles in every single app. Even the weather app takes forever to open. As you can see, there is a significant difference in performance between a regular hard drive and this SSD. There is also a very significant difference between the King Dian SSD and the 660p SSD. When you get an SSD from a known brand, you know that if it fails, you'll get a replacement. This unit is sold with a 3-year warranty. However, if something were ever to happen to it, it's very unlikely that you'll get any support. That being said, it's half as expensive as other SSDs, and SSDs don't really fail anyway. If you have another drive to store your personal and your important data, and if you're just going to use this SSD for your operating system, this will be perfectly fine. Alternatively, this SSD would also be good for a very slow system that you'd like to speed up on the cheap. Personally, I'm using this drive for video editing. It's faster than my spinning hard drive, and I don't want to shorten the lifespan of my 660p SSD. Overall, this is a very bare-bones 120GB SSD from an unknown brand, but it works well. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And I really hope I'll see you all next time. Also, check out my other videos.